Hello, um, this is your English teacher Ruba Maali again. We're going to continue with the adverbs of time, uh, with the adverbs of manner uh, on page number 223. So just uh, to practice the one, two, three, four, five positions, five places of adverbs of manner, we need to go through some examples right here. Look at practice number A. All we have to do is to circle the adverbs and then we will rewrite each sentence in our notebook, moving the adverb to different place. For example, quietly, look, we talked about this here. We said that uh, an adverb can come uh, at the beginning of a sentence. So uh, in our example here, yeah, we have it at the beginning with a comma. Quietly, he opened the door. Now, we re, uh, we're we going to rewrite this like this. He quietly opened the door. Look how we changed the place of quietly um, before the verb. He quietly opened the door. If you wrote it like this, he opened the door quietly, it's going to be also correct. So there's no problem with it. Now let's look at the second example. Lily joyfully opened her presence. Now, apparently, joyfully is the adverb here that ends with L-Y. Now you can say it like this. Joyfully, comma, Lily opened her presence or... Lily opened her presents joyfully. So you have different ways to, uh, to put the adverb of manner in. The wind blew gently. Gently is the adverb. It comes at the end. So gently the wind blew or the wind gently blew. So you have different ways, as you can see. Did you see uh, adverbs of manner are usually very flexible. You can use them anywhere in the sentence. We walked quickly to the shop. We quickly walked to the shop or we uh, walked to the shop quickly or quickly, comma, we walked to the shop. So here is the adverb that we can put every place in the sentence. Number five, Sally probably will go to Egypt. Probably, comma, Sally will go to Egypt. Sally will probably go to Egypt. Do you remember the helping verb or the auxiliary verb and the main verb? What comes between them? An adverb. An adverb can come between them. All right. Number six. Uh, Jean tapped his fingers nervously. So he uh, nervously, Jean tapped his fingers or um, Jean nervously tapped his fingers and so on. You can do it like this. Now, in the second exercise, in exercise number B, uh, you need to do this in your notebook using the adverb in parentheses, you know, brackets. This is what we mean by